welcome to Workshop Wednesday, where we take you into our workshop once a week. I'm Steph. And I'm Vicki. And we're here in Tallahassee, Florida, and we would love it if you would put where you're from down in the comments. We want to let you know what we are working on. We are continuing what we talked about last week, doing some garage organization at my house. And we are look, working on a little project for my new puppy dog. It is so cool. It wasn't cool when she texted me at seven in the morning to tell me her great idea. Sometimes I got an idea and I gotta share it. It was really a cool idea, I love it. You ready to get in today's show? I am, let's go. All right, so on Monday we asked you on Facebook, we gave you three choices of tools and we asked you what you wanted to see and we had a tie. Well, we are gonna talk about the gooseneck paintbrush today. Boop. And next week we're gonna talk about the sander which was the other winner, mm -hmm. so. If that was your vote, we will still talk about it. So I'm gonna actually head over over there and talk a little bit about this tool. I wanna to talk a little bit more about this paintbrush. So as I was saying, it's a gooseneck, which means it can go in many directions. So it can go side to side, it can go back and forth. It really can be bent to all different positions, which is really cool. And you can see there's a little, it's a little struggle to uh, to move it. And that's a good thing because when you move it in position, it's, it's staying there until you kind of grip it uh, back into another position. So when I'm painting, it won't move out of position, which is really, really great. So the first time I got to use this, I actually took some footage. I've never shared it before, so I thought this was a great opportunity to share it. A couple years ago, we painted my house, and there was one little tiny spot that we couldn't get to. I got on my roof, tried to paint it. I got in on a ladder, and I just couldn't get to it. I saw this paintbrush a couple months ago on a YouTube channel called C. Jane Drill, and she was talking about how great this paintbrush was. So I ordered it, and I tried it in that spot in my house. And here in the footage, you'll see the paintbrush is ready to go on, on an extension pole and I was able to paint the spot. So I was able to move this right into position so that I could get just that spot. And here you can see it is done, it is finished, no more yellow. This is definitely for those like weird spots that you just can't get to. Uh, so if you need something like this, highly recommended. Now, we are going to head over to Mom because she has a little uh, fast DIY to share with us. So Mom, what do you got? Thanks, Steph, and I do have a fast DIY. This is a home maintenance DIY, and it came about because of this bowl right here. This bowl really needs to be reconditioned. So to do that, I'm going to sand it very lightly, the sand net that's 320 grit, which is very, very fine, because basically I just want to get all the crud and the dirt off. So I'm gonna take a little of that off so you can see. You can put it on a sander, but you can also just hand sand it. Uh, let me just show you on the side. I love working with old wooden cutting boards and bowls because they're very, very easy to recondition. It's one of the things you can just take some sandpaper to it and clean it up and it's ready to go. Okay, I'm just going to do a small part of that so you can see that. So you see that right there? Now I'm using a tack cloth and this is just simply, uh, it's a piece of, I think it's cheesecloth. I don't know what's in it, but it makes it very, very sticky and it's great for wiping up the dust. Okay, you see, you really, you really, I really haven't taken my, off much finish, but I'm going to put a little bit of oil on this and I'm using oil that's used for cutting boards, bowls, any place where you're gonna come in contact with food. And this is actually Ikea brand, but I've seen it at the Home Depot. There are many places where you can buy this. Put a little bit on, just like that, and wipe it on. I'm using an old t-shirt. Wipe it on, and see, you can already see how much better it looks. So just let that dry and um, come back and just wipe off any excess that's excess that hasn't been absorbed. There you go. Good job, Mom. Thanks. Very good. Thanks. I have some projects, uh, some wood products that I'll do really it. I really, really enjoy. You do. On, I do. You like cleaning and maintenance. Not for me. Mm. Not for me. <laughs> so for our last segment, we are going to do a project follow-up for something at my house that we did about two years ago. So let's head on over there for okay. that. Welcome to Project Follow Up. We are in front of my garage and we're following up on something I think we did about two years about ago. About two years ago, yes. We think so. We're remembering the hot sun and having to wear oh, sunglasses. Yeah, that's because, right, it really was hot. Yeah. Well, but car well, it's January and it's hot now. Yeah. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Um, so we actually cleaned my garage and we did these windows and we painted it. But one thing that people have really talked about and th said, oh, that's never going to hold up is this right here. So we installed this magnetic this hardware, handle, hardware handle and hardware set. So people said, oh, people are going to take those off. You know, kids will mess with them. Well, you know what? They've been up here two years and no one's Nothing. really taken them, taken them off, but you could take them off because they're just magnetic. Wow, They've gotten a little dirty, dirty <laughs> but you could easily clean them because they are dirty. Mm -hmm. 
clean them here and um, yeah so they've held up really well um, they don't move we've not had any issue with them moving when the garage door opens or closes it's a good alternative yeah. that, to um, permanently attaching hardware yeah and we'll show you the side ones over here too this hardware just comes off like that and just easily back into place at the same time that we did the, the magnetic hardware, we also um, did a little refresh on these windows. They had these old plastic inserts that had gotten very brittle and they had changed color. So we took those out. We did a little frosting on the glass and besides it being dirty, it's held up great. Thank you for joining us today. We want to see what projects you're working on. So we have a link below called hashtag try, learn, share where you can submit your pictures and we will share them on Workshop Wednesday. We also send out a newsletter once a week and you can sign up. There's a link below, sign up, and you will get notices of what we're doing, what's coming up, and direct links to our actual post. Please comment, like, share this video. Let us know in the comments what you think, what you like, what you don't like, and you can give us some suggestions for future shows. Don't forget to head to our Facebook page on Monday where we ask a question and you can respond, and that's a way to help choose a segment for our next Workshop Wednesday. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.